everyone and welcome to how to install Red Dead Redemption 2 mods and how to uninstall them. Uninstallation is incredibly important because if you load into Red Dead Online with mods, you will be banned. So please make sure you watch that part of the video as well if you're looking to go back online. Step number one is to find your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. I have split this video into chapters depending on where you have installed Red Dead Redemption 2, whether it be Epic Games, Rockstar Launcher or Steam. We'll be starting off with the Epic Games installation. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open File Explorer. Then click this PC. Then go to your C drive, mine is under Acer. Double click that, then go into Program Files. Once you're here, go ahead and find your Epic Games folder. Here is where you should find Red Dead Redemption 2. A word of advice, I recommend pinning this. How you do this is click the folder once and then right click the folder and click pin to quick access. Now it will be pinned on this bar here so that you can access it super easily. Now we're going to look for the Rockstar Launcher folder. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and open File Explorer, then go this PC and find your C drive. Double click that, then go into Program Files and then go ahead and find your Rockstar Games and double click that. Now mine isn't under here because I actually installed mine in Epic, but you should have a folder that says Red Dead Redemption 2 with no spaces. Something I said before as well is if you click that folder and then right click you can pin to quick access so that you can access it pretty easily. The next and final folder we'll be looking for is the Steam folder. This is a little bit different to the other two. First you start off by opening the File Explorer, then go this PC. Then go to your C drive, mine is under Acer, double click that, and instead of going program files, you want to go program files times 86, double click that, and now you're going to look for Steam, which is right here, double click that, then here, go into Steam apps, double click that, then find your common folder, double click, and here is where you will find your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. Yours will be here if you have installed your Red Dead Redemption 2 via Steam, however mine isn't here because it's under Epic. And one thing that I would suggest you do is once you have this folder, click it once and then right click it and then pin to quick access so that you can access it super easily like I have done here. Once you've located your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder, step 2 is to go ahead and take a screenshot of this folder. I'll explain why this is really important. You can open Snip Tool, I have it pinned to my taskbar, but you can also find it by typing in Snip and opening the Snipping Tool. Go ahead and click New and just highlight all of this area here, including all of the folders, and go ahead and save that. Make sure to save it to a location where you won't accidentally delete it and name it something recognisable. I've named mine something a little bit long, but I've gone for Red Dead Redemption 2 base files. Now I'm just going to save this and go ahead and close Snipping Tool. Step number three is to install Script Hook. I have left a link to the website in the description below, as well as a link to the other mods which I will be referencing. Once you have your script hook open, go ahead and click this download button here. Be very careful on this site, there are a lot of phishing download buttons. Just make sure you're within this table that references release, version and support patches. Then under download, go ahead and click that. And here you have your script hook folder. Step number four is to download the mods that you wish to use. I for one recommend Lenny's Simple Trainer as well as the Rampage Trainer. These work very well together. For Lenny's Simple Trainer, you will be on rdr2mods.com and you can just go ahead and click download file and then download the most recent one, which is 14 underscore one. And now Lenny's is downloaded. Now we will also be downloading the Rampage Trainer. This is on Nexus Mods. Now you do need an account to download files on Nexus Mods, but setting up an account is super easy. Once you've logged in, you can go into Files and then click Rampage. Make sure you do the manual download and then click Download because you already have the script hook just installed. Once you click Download, you'll be taken to this page and make sure to do the free or slow download. And now that's installed. Something that I'm going to do to make everything easier is just move all of these zip files onto my desktop. Now you may notice these zip files will look a little bit different compared to yours because I have WinRAR installed. You don't need WinRAR to install Red Dead mods, so do not worry about this. 
Step number five is to make a mods folder on your desktop. This is technically optional, but I find that it keeps things very, very tidy and makes it easy for uninstalling and reinstalling multiple times. So as you can see up here is my original mods folder. I'm just going to make a new one for demonstration purposes and call this RDR2 mods. Now, the first thing you're going to do is open up the script hook zip file. Once you're here, go into bin. Now the only two that you need is script hook and din put eight. This is important because this does come with a native trainer, but we have already downloaded Lenny and Rampage, which means we don't need those two files. So once you have these two selected, go ahead and hit control to select the second one without the middle file and drag that over into Red Dead 2 mods. Now we can go ahead and close this and do the same for Lenny Simple Trainer. Go ahead and open that and we need all of this stuff. Now you don't necessarily need the license text or the readme text, so you can take that out. However, if you do leave it in, it doesn't particularly matter since these are just text documents. Make sure that you do not take anything out of this Lenny Simple Trainer file because that will go straight into the Red Dead. Go ahead and pull that over into RDR2 mods. And once you're done here, the final one we're going to do is Rampage. Once you open Rampage, double click this file. You'll want the Rampage files and the Rampage.asi. You don't need the README, but again, if you do drag it over, it's not the end of the world. Go ahead and put that in Red Dead 2 mods. Now you can go ahead and delete these zip files since you already have what you actually need in RDR2 mods. Step number six is to go ahead and open up your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. Once again, I have a pin for easy access and also open up your Red Dead mods folder. I like to put them side by side just to make things a little easier. Now what you're going to do is just highlight all of these, go ahead and right click, click copy, then click onto this file in a blank space, hit right click and go ahead and click paste. As you can see here, all of these files have ended up in this folder. Step number seven is probably the easiest out of all of them, and it is to load the game. You can go ahead and close these files if you wish. Then you're going to go ahead and double click your Red Dead Redemption 2 launcher. Something to note as well when you first start launching the game. You will get that beeping noise. I almost spoke over it. Once you hear that beeping noise, you know that everything has loaded correctly. So from here, we're doubly making sure that we're going to story and not online. And once you're on the story section, go ahead and click load. Once you've loaded into the game, you will get this welcome message for the first time. Just go ahead and click continue. And now you will have to agree to the terms of service, which you go ahead and continue as well. One thing to note, if you are loading Lenny Simple Trainer as well as Rampage, they unfortunately have the same opening hotkey. So if you go ahead and click F5, you'll see that the Rampage pops up and then Lenny's pops up. Go ahead and hit F5 again. Rampage will open and Lenny's will close. The first thing you want to do is go into settings and then go down to the bottom and change the open key. Usually I change it to F4 just because that's one that isn't assigned. And now you can open Rampage with F4 and you can open Lenny Simple Trainer with F5. Now, congratulations, you have just loaded into Red Dead with mods. If you are stuck at any point or need some extra help, head into the comments and I'll try my best to help you out. I will make a separate video at some point explaining how to use these mods to the best of your abilities because they can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. Another word of warning, I don't recommend saving your game while mods are installed as it could corrupt the save file. Go ahead and take your videos, your pictures and play your game without saving. So now you have these wonderful mods installed, but you've just been invited to an online trail ride. How do you get rid of these mods and avoid being banned? So first of all, you're going to go ahead and close the game. Once you've closed the game, the first step you're going to do is go ahead and pull up the screenshot of your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. I've put mine straight in pictures, I'm just going to open that up. Then you're going to open your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder as well. Once you have these side by side, step number two is to go through and remove any files that you see on the left hand side that aren't on the right hand side. Unfortunately, there isn't a super quick way to do this. You literally just have to reference the screenshot folder and go ahead and delete any of the files that don't match up with the screenshot. If for whatever reason you've lost your screenshot or need some extra help, I do have a section in my Discord where I will have put the screenshot for you to reference.
Step number three is to go ahead and double check. You really, really do not want to miss a single file because if you load onto Red Dead Online and even if you have one file that's out of place, you could potentially get banned. So just double check this. I hope this tutorial was clear and easy to follow. And if you find that you need extra help, go ahead and go into the comments and I will try my best to get to you. If you need more quick and direct contact, I recommend going into the Discord as you're more likely to catch me there. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Red Dead Redemption 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!